Hello everyone, I'm WeatherWorks meteorologist Brad Miller with another edition of Weather 101 and today's topic, high pressure versus low pressure. We'll explain the two and the differences when we come back. Hey, welcome back to this edition of Weather 101. And again, we're talking about high pressure versus low pressure. You've heard it on TV from the meteorologists. You see it on the weather map. High pressure generally associated with dry weather, warm weather in the summertime. Low pressure, you get clouds, you get rain. So basically bad weather with low pressure. And uh, you see it all the time on the weather map. And that's what drives the weather, highs versus low. So if you're looking from the top of the atmosphere down, this is what it would look like. High pressure has winds around it going clockwise in the northern hemisphere and usually has sinking motion. So that will prevent clouds from developing any kind of precipitation. Now the opposite, low pressure, winds around the low are counterclockwise. So they're moving this way in the northern hemisphere. And also with the low pressure system, you have rising motion that lends to clouds, precipitation, rain, snow, what have you. So that's the difference between the two. And that's again, what helps drive the atmosphere. You got sinking air with high pressure, rising air with low pressure, and it's all just big fluid dynamics when it comes to weather. So that's your weather weather one for today. We'll of course have more in the future. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, also on Instagram and check out our YouTube channel and always right there at our website at weatherworksinc.com.